Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. Because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything. Sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship and a lot more so join me this friday and every other friday on youtube at exactly 7 pm you missing you miss out yeah it's the other corner talk show hello my people another week and another episode yes Another beautiful Friday evening and another episode of your favorite show, The Others Corner Talk Show, with me here, truly Odra Nyambe Sano. Well, you can say, it's a peace day, not a God day. Today with me on Odra's Corner, I have Abdul Paka. Abdul Paka holds a BSc in Peace and Conflict from the University of Sierra Leone, Fawai College. And he is also the executive director for Campus Peace Club for Bay College. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to discuss things around peace and his leadership towards impacting the lives of youth. So stay with me. Don't go anywhere. And remember, it's the Others Corner talk show. Don't forget, Others Corner is proudly brought to you by the prestigious the wonderful, the beautiful Pal Hotel, Limelight Studios, and Lee's Beauty Touch. Um, welcome to Others Corner, Abdul. It's a pleasure being here. And it's a pleasure having you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so how is it coming here? Um, it's been a bumping uh, Saturday and coming here. Um, first of all, I want to say it's by um, networking because um, getting your message and me being invited to this forum for the very first time, I saw it as an opportunity and also um, an exhibition of my good work on what people believe in me for. And I also hold it to a very high esteem because I heard about your show prior to its inception like uh, two months ago, two or three months ago. I saw it um, on Bona's Facebook page um, when he talked a brief about it and that we should watch out for it. So, me being invited here and despite all the challenges and finally we've, got start we've gotten started, I want to say um, it's a pleasure and it's by no mistake that we're here to discuss what we're going to discuss for social and societal change. I'm humbled. The compliments for the show. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, this means a lot for me and my viewers. I know. Okay, so take me through your life as the executive director for the Campus Peace Club Sierra FBC chapter. Um, actually, uh, it started in uh, 2011. 2011 when I came back to Sierra Leone after a lot of stress and a lot of hurdles um, in the jungle and the quest for greener pasture. I did not succeed when I left Sierra Leone in 2010, so I came back in 2011. So when I came back, my resolution was that I need to um, get a university degree before leaving Sierra Leone again or before venturing into any other thing. In the quest of getting my degree, I had a strong uh, quest or the strong energy for change and effective uh, positive growth in society, not only um, to people that are closer to me, but those that are far away from me and not even in Sierra Leone. So one day I was at home while I was preparing to get my university requirement. I was at home watching TV and I saw two gentlemen. I think by then it was Nalo and one of the aspiring candidates. So I said to myself that when I finally get to Fobie College, I want to be a leader and I want to um, leave a remarkable legacy before departing from Fobie College. And I also made this resolution to myself that um, besides Fobie College, I will not attend any other university in Sierra Leone. So eventually I got my requirement in 2014. 
I enrolled into the university. But during my stay at Fogay College, there was no student union. So I worked very hard and I won the minds of my colleagues. I vied for the departmental presidency. Eventually, I won and I became the uh, president for Peace Society for Bay College. When I won in my manifesto, proud to even my um, president um, election, I promised um, colleagues and the entire Frabite that at the end of the day, I was going to replicate um, the peace ideology beyond Fubi College and to the society. And the surest way of doing that was by establishing another unit. So the idea came from me and colleagues around me embraced it. So we formed Campus Peace Club Sierra Leone Fubi College. Eventually, we held activities and we cascaded our programs downtown and we were recognized within the confines of Sierra Leone and beyond. We held so many TV programs, we held so many peace festivals, and we did conflict prevention programs. We went to schools, we established branches, and eventually Campus Peace Club became a household name. And we registered as a community-based organization because if you want to do certain programs, you will have to be. Because our main focus was to change the mindsets of people. And I saw one major problem at the university, which was, and which still is, the activity or activities of fraternities. It is not at all bad, but there is this negative aspect of it. We are in people get tortured. It is no longer a secret. And sometimes people lose their lives. Sometimes people get injuries. So what we were there to do was to liberate the minds of people that you can make a change without going through some of these ordeals that some of us thought was unnecessary. So we were able to win some minds. We are able to liberate some minds. I have brothers and sisters that are members of these fraternities. But because of some of these um, egos that they go through and some of the ills that they are faced with, we tried to talk to some of them because all of this encompass what peace is. So me being a leader or a member of Campus Peace Club is not more about leadership. It was about fulfilling a lifelong ambition. And yeah, we also taught them the actual essence of education because this is what is lacking in society. The essence of education has been limited to job seeking. And most people do not know that the actual essence of education is not job seeking. Job seeking got its way into academia during the industrial revolution. So what we've been teaching people, um, among many other things, is problem solving. And we've succeeded to a larger extent. We've trained so many young people. We have ambassadors. We, we, we've, we've capacitated people that have traveled out of Sierra Leone. We have people in America today. We have people in Ukraine, in Cyprus, in Turkey. We have people all over the place. Some people are even now in governance or mainstream politics. But the bottom line is that we've all been able to develop ourselves to a peak that material things or succeeding alone is not the answer. Succeeding as a group, as a nation, and as a people, and solving societal problems is what should be key in everything that we're doing. So um, in, in, in terms of our success stories, I want to say that it can be rated in terms of capacity building and the many lives that we've touched and the changes that we've affected in society because consistency is one thing that is key. Since Campus Peace Club was found, we've been consistent with our operations and our program. And today, Campus Peace Club is something big that is providing jobs for people. Even though not on a full-time payment basis, on a voluntary basis, that is what I would say on a larger scale, but we're equipping them with skills, we're, we're building their CVs, and we're also developing them, uh, some of them economically and otherwise. And we're also exposing them for networking um, 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 opportunities and other opportunities that are in the public space. Okay, when we come back, we're going to discuss about your achievements and some questions involving your personal life. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> of course, the show you're watching is the Others Corner Talk Show. And don't forget, Others Corner is proudly brought to you by Pearl Hotel, Limelight Studios, and Lee's Beauty Touch. We go for a short break. When we come back, we shall continue the conversation. Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more. 
because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship, and a lot more. So join me this Friday and every other Friday on YouTube at exactly 7 p.m. You missing, you miss out. Yeah, it's the Others Corner Talk Show. Welcome back and the show you're watching is the Others Corner Talk Show and in my corner I discuss everything. I mean everything, sports, entertainment, entrepreneurship and a lot more. And I have with me in the studios at Pearl Hotel, I mean, Abdul Paka. Abdul Paka is the executive director for Campus Peace Club, what we call it, chapter. Welcome back to the Others Corner Talk Show. Thank you once again. Okay, I, I noticed before we went for a break, you were a little bit tense. This is other as <laughs> And when you come at this corner, yeah, so you know the Komoya, you know, you know, feel relaxed and laugh. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe my question is just based on your achievement and everything, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I'll get that point where you go for laughter. You know, we're not going no more. We can't go for the camera. So tell me, what are some of the achievements you are proud of during your service as the peace? and conflict president and now the executive director for Campus Peace Club? Yes, um, first of all, let me say this. I was the um, coordinator for Campus Peace Club for the college. Campus Peace Club. I'm currently serving as the executive director of Center for Research, Peace and Youth Affairs and Campus Peace Club Sierra Leone nationwide. Oh, okay. We still have our um, coordinator at Fobie College, who is Maria Tujalo. Oh, okay. um, so your question proper, at Fobe College, I want to say I left the shores of Fobe College very proud mm -hmm. because among many leaders that I have known at Fobe College, I am one of those who campaigned and during my departure or prior to my departure, I had already achieved everything I campaigned with and more. Mm -hmm. And one key, one key thing that I campaigned with was the relocation of the uh, Peace Society Garden. Because before my election, I had or I saw the project proposal for the expansion of amphitheater, those who know Phobia College. And the garden we had was located at the back of amphitheater. So I knew that by all indications, if there's going to be an expansion, that garden was going to be demolished. So I promised the um, um, Peace Department students and Phobia College students by extension that I was going to relocate the park to a convivial environment and I was not only going to give them a park, but um, not, not a garden anymore, but a park. And I succeeded in doing that. And today, one of the best student edifices at Fobie College that people are proud of and that has given me uh, a long lasting name at Fobie College because generation yet unborn are going to make that there is the Peace Park that is located just adjacent to Art Building or between the art building and, um, uh, and, and the library and Kennedy building. I think that is one of the best student edifices at Fobie College. And I'm happy that all the student entities are now emulating the plan and they're duplicating it. You see the Albert Academy Alumni Park. That was an, it, it, it's an exact replica of what we did, even though they made some improvements. So that's why we like doing things so that others can emulate those good steps. So that's one thing that I can boast of as a, a former president of the Peace Department. Another thing is that I have been able to contribute to nation building because being the president of uh, Peace Department was my breakthrough to the media. That was also my breakthrough to a real public life. You know, due to my um, exuberance um, for leadership, and the leadership um, art skill that I portrayed and exhibited, I was able to get the attention of so many media houses from the SLBC, AYB, Star TV, almost all of the radios. I don't think there is any radio station or TV station in this country that have not entered or that have not hosted me. So uh, my analytical skills and my steadfastness and my genuity and rationality 
in analyzing or perusing public, social, economic, political issues has even left me with uh, the, I want to see whether, sometimes I say, how do people become political analysts? People see me these days as political analysts, social analysts and stuff, and I'm proud to say that I got that also from that position. You know, another one can also be the Campus Peace Club and the Center for Research Peace and Youth Affairs that is to the full-blown NGO. If I had not gotten that opportunity, probably I would have achieved the CRPY project or the Campus Peace Club project, but it will have been slowed a little bit and, or, and, and maybe it, it will not have been achieved at all. But because of the position I had, you know, promises are things that are strong. You know, people that have integrity, people that really know what they're doing, people that have foresight, people that want to go far in life when the promise they want to deliver. So I said to myself, at this stage, I cannot make a promise and fail. So today we have all of these, and I want to see that it was that position that took me to the wider state that I have to the both nationally and internationally. And from that position, I was also um, able to travel and explore some parts of Africa. So the Peace Society Presidency gave me an arena that I explored very well and I've achieved a lot, impacted a lot of lives and today I'm a household name in this country. That's wonderful and I must congratulate you for that. Thank you very now, much. Now, I know you're not, you're not an actor but we're going to hack something here. Oh really? Yes. It's, it's part of my phone time actually. Okay. Now you're not possibly into peace business. Yeah. So I'm going to be violent. I mean, my actions and the way I'm going to use this cup so you go for can talk to me say um all the i to show you for do as a student of fbc you go for understand say peace important no you don't tell me what to oh, tell okay, you I just, know, okay, you just okay, okay okay i don't i know tell me that i need to intervene okay you intervene and i, I will know the so type now, of intervention and this is the concept <laughs> i have been i don't graduate for four years and get job so i guess with everything i want to join one click they use cop then you come in you said i am the director here i'm you guys the story all right Okay, we're gonna do it in a local language so my viewers will understand. Cool. Okay. Ah, me. Four years. I don't get it. I don't get, I don't get no work. What you I go do? My man go join click, but if not, I got work, so I go join and they fetch now next to the thief. I don't afraid nobody. Hey, hey I'm gonna give boss people there. What's happening? Olga. What's in? How are you? But not ask me how are you? No, no, I didn't. She let uh, vex, vex business. So I fit for vex. Why it's girl? So Maybe no worry, but this color again and money color you get to. And I make an go join the uh, listen, work now. Patience, Rare girl, no rare girl, you get for makeup. I'll tell you come. Come listen to the conscious okay, vibes. Hey, hey. You know how this life day? It's it day. Life not time table. Ah. Listen, 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 I tell you. Hey, oh. life, not to how it begin matter and how we end. How many rare girl are you proud of in our society? Not proud? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Don't wait, wait. Oh, yeah, wait. Don't so proud, don't so proud. Hey, business. Baby, listen. No, 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 no listen. Proud. Four years, man, no see Wait, no okay, work. okay, four years. Mm. The one that we don't succeed, if it's in a sonoma, they make up. Not to swear, they happen. Oh, they, oh, they go make no, 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 listen, I tell you. Listen, I tell you. Hey, you know what? Guy, I know what I'm you. I see you in a president office. Hey, no, prophet! Listen. If it's in a jamba talk, I talk. Prophet, don't do that. Not to jamba talk, I talk. Listen, I tell you. you don't do I see you like one kind of bad, bad miss. It's in a green, white, and blue web, so. Mm. This country, mm, mm. I can't really get opportunity. This country, now, country, we get a lot of resources, but we get a problem when we have the bad governance system we don't do for decades. But you know what I tell you? Now, me and you two get for camp effect this change here. We don't begin one new movement we then call peace movement under the campus peace club project. I want, you see, you see that Moska be the guy the last day? Also, see, I mean, get out. That Moska is now for four months. You know, you know, I didn't give me that Moska. This peace program was the part. And you, as woman, I, mean, I, but, join the I guy tell you now, let me give the ball. Well, okay, give me the if ball. I don't want gender equality, mm -hmm. but they want women for volunteer for at least three months. When you don't volunteer for three months, you come inside, they will begin to give you stipend. So, what I tell you right now, patience. I they bring you camp at the project. When we push the peace business, go before. After three months, you will see the benefits. You know what I mean? Hey, Paka. Deal? <laughs> I'm a senior man. Okay, well, I got to talk more. Can do better. More push continue before. I'll sign you, bro. Thank you so time. much. And the show is the Audrey's Corner Talk Show. Forget the fact that I'm a host. I can also act. And Paka is also a good actor. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, well, it has been a wonderful and a fun filled evening with Abdul Parker. Honestly, I hate to go, but I just have to. And um, thank you so much to my guests. Thank you for coming, Abdul. I really do appreciate you. Thanks to my production team, the Others Corner team. Guys, you are doing the magic. Yes, you are. To my beautiful producer, Esther Kari Tarawali. Thank you so much, girl. To Deli Telly, Mohamed Simbi Kooma, I really appreciate you. And to my wonderful camera operators behind the scene, I love you guys and I really appreciate you. Don't forget, Always Corner is proudly brought to you by Limelight Studios, Paul Otter, and Liz Beauty Tech. To meet again next week with another beautiful, wonderful evening of the Others Corner Talk Show. I have been other than me on this channel. Goodbye and thanks for watching. Are you looking for a show that has everything? A show that is full of fun? A show that is full of energy? Well, look no more because Others Corner is here for you. Yes, Others Corner is a platform where we give people to tell their stories and share with us their ideas, which you will be interested in knowing. In my corner, I discuss everything, sports, entertainment, innovation, entrepreneurship, and a lot more. So join me this Friday and every other Friday on YouTube at exactly 7 p.m. You missing, you miss out. Yeah, it's the Others Corner Talk Show.